Caitlin Clark. Ah, the great hope that represents the WNBA. At least that's what it should be for the WNBA right now. Anyways, though, this is Sports Guy talking that you guys are watching and listening to. I am Dustin Tran, your host, as I am here today to talk about WNBA ratings failing miserably without Caitlin Clark. I say this because ratings for the WNBA have continued to be an embarrassing failure when Caitlin Clark is not involved in those matchups. However, the mainstream media has denied this fact as they have been telling sports fans that the WNBA has been a smashing success this season. Before I say anything else though, I want to present you guys with the topic question. So here it is. How much credit should Caitlin Clark receive for elevating ratings in the WNBA percentage wise? I'm going to declare it at 90%. And honestly, I feel like that percentage number should be higher, but I'm going to roll it at 90%. I say this because Caitlin Clark is by far the biggest reason why people are even following the WNBA to begin with. You guys realize that if Caitlin Clark was not playing in the WNBA, that nobody would be watching their product whatsoever. You guys realize that if Caitlin Clark wasn't playing in the WNBA, these players wouldn't even have charter flights. These people would have to ride on commercial airplanes if it was not for the greatness of Caitlin Clark in terms of marketing. Now, you want to talk about Caitlin Clark, the player? Yes, yeah, she could be playing better on the basketball court than what she has been, although her basketball team is very bad because her team, the Indiana Fever, have not been a good basketball team for years. Obviously, they are still a bad basketball team, even with the greatness of Caitlin Clark. But the fact of the matter is, Caitlin Clark is a marketable draw. She is a marketable superstar in the WNBA. I know the WNBA in real life stands for Women's National Basketball association but i'm going to call the wnba the woke national basketball association i say this because the wnba is filled with woke people all over the place you want to talk about players being woke yeah that's definitely the case you want to talk about coaches being woke that's definitely being the case and you want to talk about the wnba analysts that are out there yes they are actually analysts out there that cover the wnba they're all woke everybody in the wnba for the most part is filled with woke woke and woke all over the place which is something a lot of americans hate in general and obviously caitlin clark represents a great hope for real basketball fans because caitlin clark is not woke she's not a lesbian and look i'm not trying to judge people if they're lesbian if they're gay if they're whatever the fact of the matter is Caitlin Clark is a relatable American where people can go ahead and watch the games and not have to be lectured about woke stuff like Brittany Griner, the black lesbian that plays in the WNBA for the Phoenix Mercury. You look at how Brittany Griner, the league tried to market around her, and obviously that failed miserably because nobody likes Brittany Griner in the right mind. Anybody that likes Brittany Griner needs to be drug tested right now because Brittany Griner is one of the worst marketable players in the WNBA. There's a reason why. Why nobody watches the WNBA in the first place. I know that Caitlin Clark is a great basketball player. I like Caitlin Clark. No, it's not because she's white. It's because she's a really good basketball player. And more importantly, she's not woke and she's not trying to lecture people on how to live their lives. Caitlin Clark is just a basketball player. And that's the great thing about Caitlin Clark. The only thing I'm going to criticize Caitlin Clark for is that she cries too much to the referees. But that's small potatoes in the grand scheme of things. Because if that's the case, then I have to complain about LeBron James. Then I would have to complain about Luka Doncic, James Harden, and others in the NBA. The fact of the matter is, Caitlin Clark is a phenomenal player at her job, and she has made people watch the WNBA. Now, what I call the WNBA a success right now? Of course not. I'm not going to call the WNBA a success. Anytime a professional sports game is not even generating a million views, no, I can't call that successful. The WNBA has failed to turn in a profit for years. Before this year, players didn't even get to ride in charter flights players had to ride commercial and obviously the WNBA didn't have enough money for the players to ride charter flights they had to go commercial airplane and that's because of the fact that the WNBA has failed to turn in a profit in fact I said a year ago that the WNBA should cease to exist because of the fact that they weren't getting any profits from their sports league whatsoever the only reason why they still exist is because of Adam Silver the commissioner of the NBA the NBA funds the WNBA and we all know that the WNBA 
is a bad business proposition, but thanks to Caitlin Clark, the NBA has actually been able to justify spending money on the WNBA, and the WNBA has actually improved their quality of play compared to what it was in the past. It's still not good. It's still substandard, but at least more people are watching compared to before. So instead of getting something like 300,000 viewers on a television screen during a WNBA game, now you're getting about 700,000 viewers, which is actually massive improvement. But if we're talking about proper standards, that is nowhere near acceptable. But apparently, according to Las Vegas Aces head coach, Becky Hammond, that's not the reason why the WNBA has been successful. She was bragging about how games were being sold out and how the game was already being better than ever before. You look at how the WNBA was already in good shape prior to Caitlin Clark coming along. She refused to give Caitlin Clark credit where credit was due. I'm going to show you guys this clip of Becky Hammond's stupidity when talking about the WNBA role of film. Well, I think there's a lot of good players in this league, and, and here's if you haven't been. If you're just a recent follower of women's basketball, um, this has been brewing for a while. W women's basketball, it's been like at this boiling point, building, building, building. And you know, our arena was sold out long before Caitlin was coming into the league. So I think women's basketball has uh, just been on building. Now, she's a part of the tipping point, right? She's coming in at this time where it was ready to tip over and she her presence has tipped some things over but there's been a lot of good work going on behind the scenes to get us to this point by a lot of other people and i think you know i think caitlin is very gracious in mentioning those names too and understanding uh the women that came before her to pave the way for this tipping point in this this kind of great time to be a women's basketball player but it's a great time because the product is great and it's been great and it's been building and now that we have more eyes on it freaking great i think it's great for everybody you call that greatness you what excuse me you call that greatness if that's greatness to you then that means what the NFL is doing with the minor leagues is absolutely historic and mind-blowing. That means the XFL, the USFL, the UFL, whatever name that the NFL's developmental league is right now, is doing a historically awesome job. I would not be calling the WNBA a phenomenal job right now. It's just better than what it was before. So instead of being absolute trash, now you guys are just regular trash. And honestly, the product in the WNBA is still substandard. It's not good enough. And I know some people are going to say, Oh, it's not fair to compare the WNBA to the NBA, but tell that to the feminists out there that believe women and men are equal. Because if that's really the case, feminists, then why can we not hold you accountable like men? You guys want to be treated equal like men? Well, I'm giving it to y'all right now. Because women and men, if you guys want them to be treated equal, then we have to get on the WNBA for promoting a substandard product. The product in there is just not good enough. Now, for starters, I've actually watched some of the WNBA myself. I tried to give them a chance but it just isn't good enough for me to sit down and watch a game for three hours and i'm a basketball fan i love watching basketball but even i have trouble watching the wnba just because the product on the court is substandard i've seen better effort be given at the ymca compared to the wnba i've seen better shooting and honestly the game is just not entertaining itself it's a snooze fest and that's when i'm bored on a weekend so if i'm saying this as a die hard basketball fan on a weekend where i'm bored imagine what the casual fan is probably thinking when he or she is turning on the wnba it's not a good feeling whatsoever and the wnba needs to significantly improve their product now caitlin clark to her credit is a phenomenal basketball player i like caitlin clark she's my favorite female player to have ever played the game of basketball she's phenomenal at her job and more importantly she's not woke at it and obviously if caitlin clark wasn't in the wnba that league would still be broke it's just that they're less broke now than what they were before but to call them a smashing success is an absolute lie i think caitlin clark has actually made the wnba somewhat digestible to watch but if caitlin clark wasn't there then nobody would be watching the wnba whatsoever and don't give me britney griner asia wilson or whoever the fuck's name in the wnba is because the wnba is just not a good product whatsoever i've tried to watch the wnba myself 
it's just not good enough whatsoever for a professional sports league. I think college women's basketball is honestly better than the WNBA based on my limited experience watching both of their leagues. I mean, the fact of the matter is the WNBA is just not good whatsoever. But credit to Caitlin Clark where credit is due for getting at least some people to watch a professional women's basketball game because right now it's not easy for me to do whatsoever. I wanted to quit on their sport after a couple of minutes just because their product on the court is substandard. It's not good enough whatsoever and it doesn't help when a lot of these women are woke because i don't support woke behavior whatsoever there's an old saying in the book about woke people you go woke you go broke and that's what the WNBA has essentially done better known as the woke national basketball association so that is why i give caitlin clark 90 percent of the credit for elevating ratings in the WNBA as caitlin clark has clearly carried interest into the WNBA, better known as the dump Remember, go ahead and subscribe to Sports Guy Talking, like the video, and please comment down below. If you guys do that, I may shout you guys out in my Instagram story every Monday. That will be for the Tran Instagram account. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Tran and that's Sports Guy Talking. Also, go follow me on Twitter, Tran Again, Go ahead and do those things that I just told you guys to go do. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the content that was just produced. Peace out. I hope you enjoyed that video. Want more Sports Guy Talking, the home of great sports content? Make sure you click that subscribe button to get the latest from Sports Guy Talking. Go ahead and like the video. Comment down below. Check the description box on the video in order to follow my Instagram and Twitter. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from the YouTube channel, Sports Guy Talking.